Hey everybody, Freightliner Team Run Smart Pro Jimmy Navarez coming to you with a definition or explanation, so to speak, for an acronym that everybody's familiar with. EV. Okay, first of all, it's real easy for anyone that's been bleeding diesel for years to go out there and start saying, oh, electric vehicles are never work, this and that, and everything negative about it. But let's look at the positives. I've driven one of these electric vehicles, one of Freightliner's own E-Cascadia's, and let me tell you, even that was an early model, definitely blew me away. The technology involved and the things that go into that truck and how it runs and how it picks up, it's a, it's a game changer. Does it have a ways to go to be applicable in regional long haul? Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at it as I went through the infancy of CNG. I incorporated it on our regional runs in two trucks uh, of ours going from LA to Vegas on round trips daily. Made it work, did very well with it. Uh, looking at alternative fuels now advancing into electric and fuel cell and all kinds of different things, the word EV has definitely been defined as electric vehicle, but not EV everyone's vehicle. As of right now, even for my own fleet running regional here in just a tri-state area in the West, it's not something that's going to be applicable to our application until we get some more uh, solutions for range anxiety and, and longer uh, running times. But is it working here already in SoCal uh, for general freight, port freight, uh, local PND? Sure, it's already implemented, already doing great. So is it something that it's going to be everybody's vehicle? No, definitely not right now. But am I anxious even in my own fleet to see where this is going to go with the electric vehicle boom? Yes, definitely. Infrastructure is currently being built. The trucks are getting even better and they're working on things like range and, and other concerns that are had with the electric trucks. But let's face it. I'm sitting at the edge of my seat waiting to see what goes on next with electric vehicles, and I can't wait. So for everybody out there that wants to be negative about them, that's the easy part, but don't take the easy way out. Start to challenge your own mind because it's going forward. Alternative fuels have no choice but to go forward, and you're either going to be on board or left behind. Unfortunately, for those that choose to just keep being negative about it and uh, try to fight it like most new things and new technology, that's the bad side. But I'm anxious to see, and hopefully some of you are all anxious to see what come uh, very soon in electric vehicles and other alternative fuels. So EV, electric vehicles are here. They're coming. They're advancing. Not EV, everyone's vehicle. But until next time, just a little food for thought and everybody out there be safe and keep it rubber side down.